we can stop it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Mmm. Fresh, cold, Wawa. Uh, welcome to another Monday. Uh, what I sold on eBay last week video. It's one of those Mondays where I'm in like a really good mood and, I, and I'm like motivated to work and you just you gotta take that and you just gotta, just gotta go with it, man. Um, it's a good day, it's a good day. So we're gonna go over some sales here. Uh, it was a little bit of a rough week starting out and then we ended up having a pretty good weekend. So uh, let's get right into it. We're starting with the gaming account first because we only had four orders. Uh, but we haven't listed anything on this account in like a week, so kind of makes sense. Again, the more you list, the more the algorithm seems to favor your listings. Um, figuring that out as we go. So first off, we have a copy of NASCAR 08. Um, these individual sports game PS2, especially this genre, um, pretty much any single listing less than $5, uh, we're going to get away from. We're, we're just going to start selling big lots of, of games instead of trying to worry about a two ninety nine sale. Um, it's just going to be easier to manage. But anyways, this thing sold two ninety nine plus shipping. Uh, this, I'm actually really excited about. I can't remember. The video just went up, what, a weekend or two ago? So it wasn't listed for very long, uh, which is awesome. I want to say she had 40 on it. I paid 30 or she had 30 on it and I paid 20 I can't remember. Uh... So we'll just say 30 bucks. I paid 30 bucks. It came with all these games. Actually, Tetris was not included. We had a few extra Tetrises laying around. This one had some damage on the label. wasn't perfect or anything. So we just figured instead of selling it individually, which we do a lot, uh, because it's like a $10 game, we would just throw it in with this lot. So uh, let's like Super Mario Land, Dr. Mario, Mickey's Dangerous Chase, uh, F1 Race, Game & Watch Gallery, and Tetris. Pretty decent little stash of games with an OG Game Boy. Um... And the, the 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 travel case, the carrying case, which is really cool. I just like seeing it because I had one as a kid and it's super nostalgic to me. So, sold a lot for $85, $785 shipping. I feel like they got a pretty good deal on that and obviously so did we. So, happy with that. This actually just sold, I think, early this morning, late last night, something like that. Uh, Dreamcast, Resident Evil Code Veronica. I don't remember where I picked this up or how much I got it for, but I'm sure it wasn't wasn't much, and it sold for $19.99 and $3 shipping on top. Uh, Mega Man X Collection. This actually sold earlier this morning. I uh, haven't even printed the shipping label yet, uh, but $25.99 plus shipping. So some decent game sales, even though it wasn't much. You know, uh, the lot of the Game Boy and you know the two games. That's what. Uh, almost 150 bucks all the sales together about 150 bucks on the game account uh, so not bad for as little sales as were made um now the 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 garage sale account yard sale account whatever the new ebay has been doing a lot better um so if you guys remember in a i think it was it should have been in a video um if it wasn't uh, basically, I got all these loose golf balls. There's a milk crate full of golf balls and some new golf balls still in the box, the little four packs or whatever. I know nothing about golf, um, but I had seen somebody else recently um, picked up some golf balls for, for resale and did all right with them. I saw the new ones in there. I knew they were of some value. Uh, she had like $35 on them, and I was like, I'd give you 15 for all of it. And I was like, but I don't want to insult you. And she was like, well, my husband's not here right now. So, okay. So, I gave her 15 bucks. These just sold for $9.99 plus 12 shipping. I actually shipped that in a flat rate, which was like 14 I think. So, you know, I gave them a little bit of a break because I was like, man, no one's going to want to spend more, you know, on shipping than they do for the balls themselves. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. Somebody's going to take these to the driving range and just have a field day. It was like uh, almost, yeah, 80 plus. It was like almost 100 golf balls. And then I have all the brand new ones. So, basically... Uh, once those start selling, they're, they're basically all profit there. Uh, Judas Priest pin. Looks like I still have seven of these available. I think one of these was in the last video, too. This actually had a buyer's note on it. Hi, Hova. Just saw your eBay video and immediately wanted a hat pin. Love Judas Priest. Love your videos, too. So thank you so much, man, for the $9.99 on that bad boy. I'm actually, yeah, he paid $9.99 uh, plus shipping, and I'm actually running a 20% off sale on a lot of my pins now. So um, if you're interested in these, like I said, there's seven available. Two sold, 
and uh, I appreciate that. Also, anybody, so uh, Mr. John, I appreciate you so much, man, again, and I, I threw something a little extra in with your order. Um, been throwing in autographed Hova stickers uh, for anybody that includes a buyer's note that says that, you know, they came from the channel or they like my videos or whatever. Uh, the Smurfs Lunchbox, you guys might remember this. This was a... Uh, a few videos ago, three, four videos ago, probably. I think I picked this up. I see these lunch boxes from time to time, Smurfs and some of the older stuff. I can't think of like just they're they're old. They are vintage, um, but there's a there's a thermos included, and normally the thermoses aren't still with them. They don't seem to last. And I think I I want to say I paid five bucks. Uh, sold it for nineteen ninety plus shipping, so not bad there. Uh, these tapes, they were either a th I probably paid a quarter or got them for free. You know, I wouldn't have, like, for a opened, half-used, eight-pack of, uh, high-fidelity Sony tapes, I wouldn't have paid hardly anything. Sold them for five bucks. I didn't think these were ever gonna sell. And then, uh, the other day, uh, I got an alert. I was like, yay. Uh, so not a big money earner, but glad to get rid of them. Sprite pen, still ten available of these, as I said, on a 20% sale if you are interested. Oh, it ends in seven hours, eight hours, guys. So by the time you see this, if you want a pen, you might want to jump on that. But a Sprite pen sold. This one also sold. Uh, looks like it sold. Um, oh, wait, did this... Okay, never mind. Sorry. So this guy put a buyer's note in here. Yeah, so also to a, a viewer. Uh, he said, thanks for the offer, Hova. Uh, love the vids. Oh, yeah, okay. So I sent an offer to uh, some followers on this, and he accepted. Or some watchers, excuse me. If you watch an item, I have the, uh, the option to send an offer out. He said, love the vids. Keep up the work and have a good one from California. And then a little wave emoji. So thank you so much. Um, I appreciate that. Pablo. I sent something extra in your package as well. Hope you enjoy, my dude. Enjoy your pen. Uh, vintage Arkansas Razors back. Razors? Razors back? A vintage Arkansas Razor back um, enamel hat pen. 20 of these bad boys available. So, yeah, they're also on sale right now. No buyer's note. I think that was my last buyer's note. Um, so, yeah. Um, every one of these, like, these aren't big money earners, but again, I got them all for free. Um, if you guys didn't hear the story, these were, my grandma used to run a store, she sold all these hat pins in the 80s, uh, and it was just a bunch of new stock in her basement. Um, after she passed, we were cleaning out her house, and I took them all, and I've been selling them on eBay. So, they don't cost anything to me, but they're a good way to build feedback on a new account, is the way I see it. I think I'm up to, like, 27 feedback. That's another thing, if you guys are ordering stuff... Uh, for my eBay account, please, please, please leave positive feedback. I would much appreciate that. Um, almost more than the sale sometimes, if that makes sense. So it's very important to build feedback on a new eBay account because you get like restrictions on how many items you can list and stuff like that. It's kind of gets complicated. But anyways, I showed you guys this last time. This is actually somebody sent this to my PO box. Uh, people ask me all the time, hey, man, I've got this old box of stuff. Can I send it to you? You sell it on your eBay? Yes, of course. And then they're like, well, what do you want as far as like what you'll sell on eBay? I don't care. Yeah, I will sell anything, anything of value. I will sell it on eBay. Uh, this didn't even work. Uh, the batteries were all corroded and everything. Unfortunately, I tried to clean it up and get it working. Couldn't do so. Uh, so I just listed it as broken as is for parts repair. I don't know if somebody just wants to sit it on a shelf because it still looks cool. You know, it's still a Pokédex. Uh, 99 cents plus shipping. That was, um, that was a viewer. That goes out to Joseph, and he asked me to uh, autograph the back of it. So I autographed it, and I threw it in an autographed Hova sticker. Uh, so thank you so much, Joseph, for your purchase on that. I appreciate it. Um, these Bose remotes, I want to say it was a bag of four for a dollar. I didn't see these. My girlfriend did. She picked them up. Um, as soon as I saw the price and the fact that they were Bose remotes, I was like, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty safe bet. We'll just pick them up. Uh, so I've got, uh, this was actually a good instance. So I was listing these. I got the first three listed on the fourth one. It was like, Hey, you don't have enough feedback on your account to sell Bose uh, at this quantity basically so it was like you have to wait until you get 25 feedback I think and at the time you see I have 27 so I've actually surpassed that but uh, so yeah feedback helps a lot so $7.99 plus shipping uh, so like I said I think we paid a dollar for all four so a quarter a piece we're already in the profit the other three are gonna be uh, even more profit this actually I think was my little cousins there was so when we were cleaning out my grandma's house there was a whole bunch of storage she had like this giant shed out back of the house um, and the whole family used it as kind of like additional storage, right? Like whenever we, you know, if somebody would move in the family, uh, you know, a few totes full of stuff would end up over there or whatever. And, uh, I believe this was my little cousins. 
um, toy when he was a kid and he said he didn't want it anymore and I just saw that it had Optimus Prime on it and I thought it was cool. I was like, yeah, I'll take it, you know, for my boys. And then I thought, do we really need another Nerf gun? We've got so many laying around. So I just figured I'd throw it on eBay because it's really cool. Like the paint job with the flames on it and everything. Um, I thought it was really neat. So uh, sold it for pretty cheap. $8.49. $7.85 shipping actually went out to... Uh, this went all the way to Hawaii, and the buyer actually sent a note. He was like, hello, friend. Shipping to Hawaii is expensive. <laughs> and then he was, like, giving tips on the cheapest way to ship it out there and everything. So that was really cool. He was a really nice guy, and he offered to give more money uh, to help get it to Hawaii uh, if I needed it. But I ended up being able to ship it for um, the same amount that he paid. So we were all good on that. So I hope he's going to enjoy that. Uh, these right here, you guys probably just... I think this was the last video that you guys would have seen uh, that just went up Saturday. I saw all these Toy Story toys uh, in a bag, as a big gallon size Ziploc bag. I think they had two bucks on it, and I told her I'd give her a dollar. She accepted, uh, listed it as a lot. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to sit there and mess around and try to do individual ones for five bucks or whatever, you know, um, or two dollars or whatever. You know, I, I'm, the more you get into eBay and the more you start selling and the more you understand how valuable your time is because you still have to, like, do all the shipping and all that stuff behind the scenes, um, you start doing more lots. So I listed all this as a lot, $14.99, boom, sold, $7 shipping on top, so I made a nice little profit off of a dollar. Um, these guys right here, this is again some of the stuff that I got from my uh, grandmother's uh, basement after she passed, we were clean, cleaning out the house, and there was a bunch of this old stock stuff that they used to have in their, sh in their store, in their physical store that they ran in like the 80s and the 90s, and um, I pulled these out because I thought they were cool. Um, so it looks like I had 13 of them, and this person ordered six all at once, which was awesome. They're only $4.99, so it wasn't like the biggest um, payment in the world. But it was nice to see a big bulk order of six of these come in. Uh, and she actually paid $5 shipping on each one. I have to, that reminds me, after I get done with this, I get a refund uh, quite a bit of the shipping cost. Because it didn't cost me near that much. I just put all six in one package, though, and shipped it out. So, not sure what they're going to do. Maybe she owns, like, a, a store of some sort. Maybe, maybe a toy store, and she, you know, wants to resell them. Or maybe she's giving them out as gifts. I don't know. But ordered six of them all at once. So, that was cool. So, hope uh, hope that person enjoys, too. What is that? Is that my... Oh, my air kicked back on. I thought there was a... I'm stupid. Uh, leapfrog leap pad. There's actually a funny story with this too. I know I, I probably like talk a lot more than what some people are interested in, but if you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know I'm a talker. So, uh, this leap pad. I want to pay. I want to say I paid three or four dollars for this. Uh, some dinosaur digging up bones game and another game with a carrying case. Purchased this quite a while back been sitting on it forever i had it listed as a lot situation right so i had the leap pad the carrying case and the two games listed all together for 14.99 plus shipping and i kept getting low ball offers like people were like yeah i'll give you seven bucks and all this stupid shit and i kept declining offers and i was even you know i was counter offering it like you know 13 like more reasonable numbers right and people, you know, weren't accepting my counter offers and they kept lowballing me on offers and I, I was like, fuck this shit. So I ended up looking up the prices of the games individually again and the dinosaur game alone went for like $15 and I was like, well, I guess I just missed that the first time I was listing it. Let me, let me find it here and make sure I'm not just talking out of my butthole. Yeah, $14.99. So I listed the, uh, it was called Digging for Dinosaurs Explorer Game Cartridge. I split it up. I said, all right, I'm not dealing with this stuff anymore. I'm just going to list the Leap Pad and the Carrying Case and then list the two games individually. Listed the Digging for Dinosaurs Explorer Game Cartridge. It sold, uh, I think, two days after I listed it or something. I don't know. It sh sold very quickly for $15 plus shipping. Just the game. So I was like, screw you, man. Whoever was messing with me, sending all those lowball offers, they done messed up. They could have had the, the, the damn Leap Pad and the two games and sold the Leap Pad if all they wanted was the game. So anyway, sold the game for $15, sold the console for $10 plus the shipping. Still have the other game on the market. We'll see what happens with that. But either way, I've already profited, so I'm happy. This right here, I actually sold this for $75. This has happened a couple times. I sold the Vintage Ninja Turtles for $255 in a bid, and there was some sort of fraudulent activity with the winning account. The, all the bids got erased. Uh, the auction was basically deemed null and void, and no one got it. I wasn't even eligible to send second chance offers or anything to the second highest bidder. Relisted the Turtles for $400, buy it now, and I got an offer for $300, and I accepted it. 
Uh, so keep in mind, I had sold it for 255 and then the auction got canceled. I was pissed. I was like, damn, I had 255 bucks. Relisted it for 400 sold it for 300 So sold it for $45 more than I would have. Same kind of thing happened with this TV. I sold this TV for, I believe, $75. Um, and it went for a long time and they never paid and so basically i canceled the order because they just never paid um which gives them a, a hit on their account and um yeah i relisted it at 95 because i was like looking at it afterwards and i'm like maybe i should have listed it for a little bit more relisted it at 95 and it sold actually i think i listed it for 100 bucks and uh, somebody made an offer or i made an offer but anyways sold for more than what it would have or that what it did the first time but this is going to be my first real test. I packaged this in a 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch box, which fit it almost perfectly. I was able to put some, actually this uh, soundproof styrofoam stuff that, or foam stuff that I had on my ceiling up here uh, that I don't think I really need anymore. And it's been falling off. I put one on each side of the TV. Um, and then I took that 12 inch box and put it inside of a 14 by 14 by 14 box. And then I padded the crap out of that too. So double boxed it actually ate a little bit of cost on the shipping because I um, I put like the bare minimum uh, dimensions and weight on this before I packaged it so ate a little bit on the on the shipping but it's all bit it's all you know it's still I think I paid twenty dollars for this TV so uh, but anyways I'm, I'm really anxious to see if this thing actually shows up in one piece shipping a TV is kind of uh, kind of nerve-wracking drop that off this morning we'll see old style beer can hat pin also 20 percent off ladies and gentlemen get them while they're hot actually there's no more of these left so you ain't getting those but i got a lot more pins i think i still have like 200 pins if you guys want to check out the inventory links in the description old store old style pin right here sold uh for 3.99 i don't know 3.99 yes i well that's what the sale price might have sold for 4.99 but we're out of those old styles now actually that was two that was an order of two i think i accepted an offer for like 350 a piece or three dollars a piece maybe even 250 a piece i don't know uh the bible story if you guys remember i got there's supposed to be 10 of these volumes volumes one through ten i got uh i was missing volume seven but i had two volumes two and two volume nine so i listed the extra volume two and the extra volume nine they actually both sold already which i was shocked and then i used that money essentially uh to order volume seven volume seven i opened it this morning and it was the wrong damn book these are the ones from like the 50s they were printed in 58 or something like that i think um and they sent me the reprint the more modern like 80s reprint so i was kind of pissed at what it, this was shown in the picture but that's not what they shipped me and so i was i was a little upset about that i messaged them and hopefully we'll get the right one because i want to complete that set the whole set's worth like 35 altogether so and i think i spent like four bucks on the uh, on all of them in the beginning so uh windows 7 home premium these ended up being a really good pickup i got a heater for my house sometimes you end up buying stuff you just need around the house you know uh, we get some pretty cold winters around here got a little space heater and picked up two copies of this windows 7 home premium 64 and 32 bit edition there's two discs in each one for 32 and 64 bit uh, and then one windows 7 home premium 64 and 32 bit upgrade version uh, got all three and the space heater for $25. So I'd say I spent like 20 on the software, five on the heater, if you want to think of it that way. So spent 20 on the three softwares, uh, sold two of these in one order for $60 plus shipping. So that was awesome. Already made 40 bucks on that. Um, and the other one I also have listed for 30 and I think there's already two watchers on that. So it probably will sell here pretty soon as well so again guys um yeah i am anybody if you're buying stuff off of my ebays and you're coming from these videos and you know watch my content a, a viewer sale is what we'll call it if you're coming um from my channels and you're a viewer and you're purchasing something make sure you put a buyer's note in the order um that way i can give you credit both whenever i do this video and i can also um throw in a little something extra. I, right now I've got a whole bunch of autograph Hopa stickers, so I probably won't run out of those anytime soon, but if I do, I have a bunch of other stickers and stuff uh, laying around um, that I can throw in as a thank you for your order. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you very, very much. And uh, let me know, guys. Let me know what you think about this TV. Is it gonna arrive in one piece or, or is it gonna break?
pray for me. Pray for me, guys. This was a pretty good sale. Made some good profit on it, and I'm just hoping it shows up in one piece. I actually just bought another TV um, Saturday, Friday. I think I bought it Friday. So you guys will see that. It's worth about 100 bucks. I got it for 5 So you guys will see that in the next garage sale video uh, next Saturday. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye!